Have you ever wondered where the world's juiciest, most delicious mangoes come from? The journey of an Australian mango is far more fascinating than you might think. From the rich, sun-drenched farms of Australia to the neatly packaged fruit in your supermarket, every step of the process is filled with hard work, innovation, and care. And today, we're going to take you behind the scenes to uncover the truth about how Australian mangoes reach your plate. Welcome to Infinite Farming, where we explore the world of farming like you've never seen before. But first, let's talk about something that many people never stop to consider, the journey that these mangoes take before they land in your grocery store. It's a long one, full of challenges, hard work, and a bit of magic. And believe it or not, it all starts in a place you might not expect, on the sprawling farms of Australia, where mangoes aren't just grown, but cultivated with expertise and passion. Australia, known for its vast landscapes and diverse ecosystems, has become one of the largest producers of mangoes in the world. The country's subtropical climate is perfect for growing mangoes, with long hot summers and mild winters. These farms stretch across hundreds of acres, some of the largest farming operations in the world, producing an astonishing 40,000 tons of mangoes each year. To put that into perspective, that's enough mangoes to fill over 1,000 shipping containers. The mangoes grown on Australian farms are famous for their exceptional quality. The combination of the ideal climate and the care that farmers put into every step of the process results in a fruit that is sweet, juicy, and perfect for consumption. Australian mangoes are shipped to over 40 countries, making them a significant player in the global mango market. But it's not just the size of the farms or the quality of the fruit that makes Australian mango farming so impressive. It's the innovative practices used by farmers to grow mangoes in a sustainable and efficient manner. Mango farming in Australia isn't limited to a few key regions. It has expanded to a variety of locations, each with its own unique environmental conditions. The northern regions, like Queensland, are known for their perfect mango growing conditions, while areas in the Northern Territory also see some of the highest yields. It's the perfect mix of sun, rain, and fertile soil that gives these mangoes their signature taste. When it comes to planting mango trees, timing is everything. Late spring marks the beginning of the planting season, and it's the optimal time to start new trees. During this period, the weather is warm and stable, providing the perfect environment for young trees to take root and grow. But planting isn't as simple as just digging a hole and dropping a tree in. There's a careful balance between soil preparation, moisture control, and tree placement. Without this attention to detail, the trees won't thrive, and the mangoes won't reach their full potential. The soil must be properly aerated to allow the roots to grow deep and strong, providing the tree with the stability it needs to withstand harsh weather conditions in the future. In addition to soil preparation, the right amount of water is crucial. Mango trees need water to establish their roots and begin growing, but too much water can cause root rot, which can kill the tree. This is why farmers must closely monitor rainfall and irrigation systems, ensuring the trees get just the right amount of water to help them thrive. It's all about creating the best environment for these young trees to grow strong, healthy, and ready to bear fruit in the coming years. Once planted, the trees can take a year or two to develop a strong root system before they begin to produce fruit. Once the mango trees are planted, the real work begins. In the early stages of growth, the trees are fragile and need support to stay upright. This is where steel wire comes in. Farmers use the wire to stabilize the young trees, preventing them from tilting or toppling over as they grow taller. This simple yet effective method helps the trees remain strong and upright, allowing them to develop properly. The steel wire supports the young tree's trunk and helps it stay straight as it reaches for the sky. In addition to helping the tree stay upright, the wire also provides a method for controlling the growth direction. As the tree grows, farmers can adjust the tension on the wire to help guide the tree's growth and ensure it remains stable. This practice is crucial for avoiding potential damage later on in the tree's life, as the mangoes will be heavy. And without proper support, the tree could break under the weight of the fruit. As the trees grow, the wire gradually becomes less necessary. But during those crucial early years, it is indispensable. 
It's hard to imagine that something as simple as steel wire can play such a vital role in the growth of these trees. There's something truly magical about the blooming of mango trees. Late spring is when the trees start to show off their delicate flowers, signaling that the growing season has officially begun. These blooms are a precursor to the fruit that will soon follow. But there's a catch. After the blooming phase, the trees have to wait about 105 days before the mangoes are ripe enough to harvest. The flowers are small and delicate, but they are an important part of the mango tree's reproduction process. They're the first sign that the tree is ready to produce fruit. Once the flowers are pollinated, the mangoes begin to take shape. But this doesn't happen overnight. It takes time for the fruit to grow and mature. During this period, the farmers watch the trees closely, monitoring the growth of the fruit as it slowly takes shape. It's a waiting game, but it's also an exciting time for the farmers. The bloom is a sign that the trees are healthy, and the harvest is just around the corner. But patience is key, as the mangoes need time to mature properly. As the mangoes grow, they begin to develop their signature colors and shapes. The anticipation builds, and the farmers prepare for the final step, the harvest. Now, let's talk about the real heart of the mango farming process, harvesting. This is where the hard work truly pays off. Mangoes don't just fall off the trees on their own, they have to be carefully picked by hand. And depending on the height of the tree, farmers use different techniques to harvest the fruit. For taller trees, long poles with hooks are used to gently pull the mangoes from their branches. This method ensures that the fruit doesn't get bruised or damaged during the harvest. Workers carefully handle each mango, checking for ripeness and quality before removing it from the tree. It's a labor-intensive job, but one that requires expertise and precision. For shorter trees, workers can simply pick the mangoes directly from the branches. But even in these cases, the fruit has to be handled with care. Each mango is checked for imperfections and defects before being placed in baskets or bins to be transported to the factory. Harvesting mangoes isn't just about picking fruit. It's about selecting the right mango at the right time. Farmers need to have an intimate knowledge of the trees and the fruit to know when the mangoes are perfectly ripe and ready to be picked. After the mangoes are harvested, they don't just sit around waiting to be eaten. They are quickly transported to nearby factories where the next phase of their journey begins. This is where the magic of processing takes place. At the factory, the mangoes are washed, sorted, and packed in preparation for shipping. Each mango goes through a rigorous inspection process to ensure it meets the high standards set by the farmers in the factory. Only the best mangoes are selected for packaging, while any that don't meet the criteria are set aside for other uses, such as juice production or export to different markets. It's a careful process that ensures only the highest quality mangoes make it to your table. The factory is a hub of activity, with workers moving quickly to ensure that every mango is processed in a timely manner. The goal is to get the mangoes to market as soon as possible, so they remain fresh and delicious. Whether they are being packed for local distribution or shipped overseas, the processing plants ensure that the mangoes maintain their quality and taste throughout the journey. Now, let's take a closer look at the factory itself. The processing of mangoes doesn't just involve sorting and packaging, it also includes strict hygiene measures. Every step of the process is designed to ensure that the mangoes remain clean and safe for consumption. Workers wear gloves and follow strict sanitation protocols to maintain cleanliness at all times. Once the mangoes are washed, they are peeled and cut into small pieces. Some are frozen for later use, while others are turned into juices or purees. This process helps preserve the mangoes and extend their shelf life, making them available for consumption all year round. And all of this is done with the utmost care and attention to detail. The factory is equipped with state-of-the-art machinery designed to handle the mangoes efficiently, while ensuring they are not damaged. The machinery helps automate the peeling and cutting processes, making them faster and more consistent. However, despite the use of technology, the human element is still essential to the process. Skilled workers oversee the machinery and ensure everything runs smoothly. From the moment a mango tree is planted to the moment it lands on your supermarket shelf, the journey is one of dedication, hard work, and innovation. Each mango is the result of years of careful cultivation, harvesting, and processing. The farmers, workers, and factories all play an essential role in bringing this fruit to life. So the next time you bite into a juicy mango, remember the fascinating journey it took to get to your plate. Before we go, we'd love to hear from you. What do you think about the mango cultivation process? Would you be willing to work on a mango farm 
or do you have any thoughts on how we can improve the process? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Infinite Farming for more exciting insights into the world of farming. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.